Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how Autoprobe works real quick. Um, <clears throat> what I have here is a real simple scene. Um, I have nothing baked in here, so um, it's all really, really dark. I have some lights that are blinking on and off. And yeah, just not an interesting scene. <laughs> but uh, let me show you what you can do <clears throat> when you start baking lights. And Get to a point where um, you're getting some indirect light back. Let me create auto probe. Go ahead and throw a component on. And inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and set the constraints to a simple box. Get rid of these guys. And what we're going to do is basically set. The width of the box so that it's at least as big or bigger than uh, the space that we're interested in. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Okay. It's just enough to make sure that the world isn't infinite. You know, when it, if you have water types, you obviously it would work, but most people. Um, so basically, as we're casting rays around, we want to know where should we stop. So uh, collision is great, but probably, like I said, you don't likely have a water type world. So uh, having a, an enclosing box is just a way to stop the object. All right, so we have a couple ways we can make this. Uh, we can really quickly just generate grid grid points, and it'll generate points, and then it'll escape the box <laughs> as you'll see so there's a whole bunch of light probes yeah we probably don't want them uh let's let's do this let's set it to spray i kind of like that better and let's cut down that box just a little bit i think it's maybe a little bit Pretty good. All right. So a nice tight box prevents it from making too many extra probes. And then we tell it to make some more probes and it goes off and just generates them. Uh, it initializes them based off of the center of the, the colliders that you surround it with. Uh, so here you go. It's got some probes on the outside of the box, some probes on the inside of the box. Like I said, it's gonna it's gonna manage to escape. I don't have a ceiling in this box, so it it flew up and out and went around the back. That's fine. It really doesn't hurt anything. Um, but so we generated some probes. We want to bake lights in here. As I was showing earlier, there's nothing currently baked. If you look at the systems, there's there's no UV charts. So let's go ahead and bake lights real quick. It created the UV charts real quick on, on all sides of these because they're all they're, uh, they have six sides for all the walls. So it really quickly bakes a bunch of light. And uh, this test scene is nice because I have uh, I have blue spotlights that are mixed lighting, so they have runtime direct light, baked indirect light. Uh, I have green spots that are purely baked, so they bake the direct and indirect. They don't cast shadows at all at run. Uh, I have yellow points that are because you just want to make sure that you can see what all the different kind of lights do and that they all work. Point lights that are mixed, so they still cast shadows if you want them to, um, but the indirect light is baked in. And the orange points are all baked. So now you can kind of see, yeah, there's, it's a, it's a pretty, decent exhibition of different kinds of lights and how you might possibly use them. And at runtime, you may remember, I have a script on those lights that just flickers their, their components on and off. So you have some idea of what it looks like and how much of it's coming from indirect lighting versus direct lighting. So when I turn it off at runtime, uh, the baked lights, there's no change because they're not there anymore. Uh, but the ones that are mixed, they stop casting shadows, and you don't get the direct lighting, which is what you expect from a real. Uh, 
Um, but you'll still notice that there'll be spots on the ground and there's some indirect lighting that's lighting the underside of the pew. Um, so it's, it's just really clear what's happening. Okay, so we're almost done baking. Okay, there we go. Cool. So at this point, we have a whole bunch of probes. We have a lot of light. Let's optimize this because it's too many. So we're going to go from 5,000 light probes in just a matter of seconds to just the necessary set. And, you know, depends on how you want to work. I know some people are using autoprobe where they're doing an entire scene, like a large level with one probe set. I'd probably break it up by the room if I were you, um, just because you can actually go and have multiple different autoprobes. And each different probe set, you can go through and rebuild them when the geometry changes, but you don't have to rebuild the whole level. Um, Unity will merge them all together as long as they're all in the same scene. You don't have to worry about that, but you can at least control the lighting set. Okay, so you can see here in this area, these are fully baked lights. So they're capturing the direct light as it flows down to the ground. And over here, you can see that these are just mixed lights. So the direct lighting is not stored in any of the light probes. It's only getting bounce light. Um, and that's, it's really evident by Auto probe is telling you exactly where the data is. Where the data is. All right, cool. So let's take a look at what it looks like at runtime. We've got an interesting lighting experiment. So over here, you can see that the direct lighting is coming straight from the overhead spotlights, and the walls are lit nicely with the indirect bounces, and so is the underside of the cube here. And that's on, even though the lights are off because the light probes are still. On. The lights give you the top half. Whenever the lights are on. See? But they give you shadows too. Over here, you've got just baked lights, which are green. And you get the green lighting on the walls and on the floors, but there's no shadow. It's just the way that light probes work. Same thing over here, you have orange spotlight or point lights, rather. Um, and their orange is baked into the, the floors and walls, and you get no shadows. And over here, you have yellow lights that are direct lights above. You get some bounce light on the walls, on, not so much on the floors, but you do get it in the light. See the contribution. Cool, guys. Hope you enjoy Autoprobe. Thanks.